Greetings everyone and welcome back to Haversack Hill and of course to Backpack Hero where the very first thing we're going to do today is immediately jump into a game. Now we've got to decide who we're going to be taking. I think, yeah, we'll take uh, this purse out for an adventure but what kind of adventure are we going on? Well of course we're looking for sparks. Now I could take Crusade 2 but I'm not too fussed on that one nor am I super fussed on the uh, ghostly one. But I am quite liking the idea of going for a purely magic build honestly. Uh, there are a couple of the uh, the relic items as well, though this one doesn't bring a spark. The tusk does. Cannot be rotated. All items cannot be rotated. My lord, that would be rough. Uh, cannot be placed in the same space twice when combat ends. Removed from backpack. Adjust adjacent items are destroyed. <laughs> wow, that is a rough one. And then the rose. You cannot find rare or legendary items. Mm, no, I think we're going to go with magic this time round. The new unlock will be the charging mana stone. Uh, I mean, we've already seen that out and about, I thought, but uh, here we are. We'll go anyway. There we are. We'll get a spark there. Let's go. Now, of course, we are looking for our good friend Pocket as well, so we're going to be going down a certain route. But I've started to receive uh, hints that maybe we can't even find the, the final tier of Pocket until we have unlocked the Frozen Core. Whether or not we find pocket in the frozen core is a different matter entirely but uh i i'm not sure about that one as i i've never really found pocket uh around and about in fact she's the only character i've never played but uh we'll see if santa purse is going to help us out a little bit here so we've got add for block also just wallop people and restore mana so we can more or less add block indefinitely uh let's go down to the bramble of course just for the off chance we might find pocket down here somewhere would you say it's pronounced pocket or pocket? I am not entirely certain myself. Let's see who we're going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting the chicken. Okay. And let's have a go at you guys then. You're going to heal, which is a bit of a problem for me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's get a little bit of block just so that I can uh, charge that back up. But honestly, there's no real need to. We should be able to get through your defenses, even with the heal coming your way. There we go, but we do have to uh, accept that we are going to take a bit of damage here. No, we're not even going to get you. Oh, such sadness. Bloody heals. How annoying. Oh, well. We tried our best. We failed. There we go. We'll just wail on you for now. Don't need to do anything else. And then next turn. Well, we're still going to need to protect ourselves. Don't... Unfortunately, I used this first, which was a bit of a silly move since I would have been able to reduce the incoming damage to one if I'd done them in the right order, and that is spend a little bit of mana first. But oh well. All right, there we go. Got our level up, and as ever, the opening move, make room for boots, make room for helmets, of course, the other way around from where my mouse was at the time, but that's fine. Right, let's have a look. We've got a hat. I very much want it. And I am also going to say... Let's move some of these around. Does this give adjacent to diagonal armor get a, a buff? Uh, let's move you across there then. There we go. Perfect. Uh, in fact, we can move you down here and that's even better. We've got a jack cleaver. Are we going to make a cleaver build on our magic build? <laughs> I love it and we're going to do it. Also, we need this one for research. So I do need to bring this back. I need the king cleaver, the queen cleaver, and then finally we can get the ace cleaver. We'll see what we can do. Can't take any more items, so that's fine. All right, onwards to get some experience and then another fight. All right, who are we facing? We've got the crab here. You, the thrush soldier is the more dangerous one, I would say. I'm not going to be using this. Honestly, if I could find a pouch, I would just store it for now. Uh, but do I have enough damage? I don't even have remotely enough damage output to be able to deal with you. But I can use this a couple of times once more there we go and i'm going to be blocking all incoming damage now you're going to defend yourself quite heavily but let's go ahead and just wail you down as much as i can there we go we've got incoming 10 so i actually only need to use one bit of mana here to uh to avoid that damage i should have focused on the crab there because the crab had the least amount of block there we are and at this point, we can take the crab out. And this way, we've already got enough passive block now to deal with anything coming from the Thrush Soldier. Uh, I could reorganize, frankly. Get the Poison Star. Sure, I'll take that. Doink. Thank you. And the nice thing about 
collect magic builds is quite a lot of magic items don't use any and i know why did i reorganize just to pick that up just because i wanted to really um a lot of magic builds don't use energy like the green energy they use mana so we might be able to reorganize a lot with this run if we see an item that we like uh early key not sure it's necessary uh, magic Saxory. Each turn adds six block and removes one mana from the connected mana network. If no mana is connected, then it's disabled. Honestly, that would be fine. But that's better than the Broken Ring, since it gives us more block and it does it automatically. Uh, that's fine. Is this considered armor? No. Magic Accessory. Uh, we could get another ma uh, Apprentice Staff, and then I could alternate the two of them in order to add mana. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, the Dual Staffs. Wow. What a build. Uh, we could pick up one other thing. At this point, what do I want it to be? Uh, we'll grab you. That's fine. This I can use now to just top up some extra shielding. This will be used automatically, but it's just an upgraded version of the Broken Ring, so I think that's fine. We'll bring the key along because it fits into the space that I've got. Dual crabs. My, my. All right. Oh, well, let's get going then. Oh, I misused that one. That was a bit silly of me, but oh well. Let's get through your defenses where we can... I can't take a second one. Come on now. That's just crazy talk. May as well use that just to see if that works. Yeah, it, it does work. That's actually quite amazing. I hadn't really considered a dual staff build before, but this does work out. We have got the lucky star. Adds luck and deals five damage. Yeah, I'm going to reorganize for this. I will get rid of the key. Finish reorganizing. Uh, I could use this if we needed it. We don't. All right, let's just get through your defenses for me. And that requires no extra work. Whomp. Finish it off. Get a bit of extra luck. And then flash out the build down here. Perfect. You win. Yes, we do. Oh. Now, now that is a rare find. <laughs> We've also got a rocket as well. My God. Uh, okay. Adjacent melee weapons get plus three damage. But the Crystal Gauntlets are rather chonky, as you can see. How are we going to fit this one in? Well, we can comfortably put that over there. Uh, let's see if I can make this happen for us. I could move this down here, though it's going to give me the, the least amount of uh, extra backup there, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, if I do this, then both of my we melee weapons are going to have a nice bonus. But this is now giving me much less block. I wonder if there is a way that I could get this to work. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I think this will work for now. This mana stone isn't connected to anything, sadly, but I might be able to get conductive on the clothing here at some point. But uh, we only need to, realistically, since I can refill two per turn, I just need to always make sure that there is one extra in there so that the uh, bird chant is active. And whilst all of that's going on, all of these things get a pretty beefy bonus. It's not the best item in the world but i mean it is armor it is giving us block so uh that is quite nice because it, it it as armor it doesn't give any block naturally but it is still classed as armor so anything that affects armor such as the tunic here which gives us plus one block is going to give a little bit of uh, extra bump for the gauntlets as well i actually quite like that I've not really used those well before, and I think this will probably be the first time that I can say I am. Uh, we've got a Sapphire. Mm, not great for our current build, I'm not going to lie. But maybe I could just take... Well, they wouldn't really do anything for me there, well, though, would it? For each hazard in this row, adjacent weapons get plus one damage. There are no adjacent weapons here. Are any of these worth selling? No, they're really not, so I'll, I'll just bring that along just because I can. <laughs> Who knows, I might find something that uh, benefits from gems. Right, let's have a look at you. Okay, flame gem, get, apparently. Uh, catapult, oh, okay, we don't want the ball and chain. Uh, axe, okay, we know that the ball and chain is in there. Uh, we've got a blood bow. Hmm, okay. Uh, blood bow, is that a cursed item? On use, turns around, fires the first arrow. Yeah, it is a curse, so let's not go for you, shall we? And I've got one more gas remaining. Let's grab you. There we go. That wasn't actually bad. Now, we've got a Vampiric Axe. It adds three poison to self, which is rough, but does deal 10 damage. 
and which means it heals for that 10 damage, which is really, really quite nice. We are now in a bit of a bind, though, because ultimately I would want this space to be the gem. Well, we're definitely taking that gem in exchange for the sapphire. Just don't have a use for it just yet. Vampiric Axe as well. I could get rid of the tunic. Uh, it would give me almost no passive block. But I am generating a decent amount of block by itself. Hmm, there is an option for this. Alright, this is not bad. This is now doing 14 damage and adds burn. It does poison me, but... Assuming I find a way to heal, then that's going to be great. And if nothing else, I can always sell it. So that was a decent one. We're going a little bit more bold with this build than I usually go. I'm usually a lot more cautious in how I set up the backpack, but we'll see how things go. Uh, we've got a bunch of potential awesome things, but I really do need to just get through some fights and sell some stuff. So, first and foremost, we really would like you to not be alive anymore. So, given that, uh, we'll open up with this. We need a little bit of extra blocking. Open up with that. A little bit more blocking beside. And then... Uh, got one more point. So, to be fair, I'm going to gain back 14 points. I will not lose even remotely that many. So, that's fine. We'll continue to use this. And we'll leave that bit of mana there just for the extra six block that we get automatically. Okay. Right, not too bad. Let's get a little bit more mana in the tank. And you're now gone. Let's focus on you next. Uh, we're not going to use this as it would top up my poison a little bit too much. We're going to wait a couple of turns for that one, I think. I will add a little bit more block, obviously. Uh, in fact, I should probably add two bits more block, but I can't afford to, sadly. The, the loss of the passive block is a loss I am genuinely feeling quite strongly right now. Uh, we don't need to worry too much again. Uh, at this point, we don't need to add any kind of uh, block. We can just... Focus on taking out the Thrush Soldier. That's not going to be a problem for us at this point. There we go. And do I want to use this? Sure, let's just top ourselves back up to full health. Add a little bit of block just because I can. We'll take a little bit of damage, but it's nothing, no, no uh, big issue there. Right, we've got a fish. We have got a battle ring. Can be used one time each turn. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage this combat. Might be good to get something like that down here. Uh, we've also got the hard hat for each hazard below. Uh, hmm. Might not be a bad move, honestly. Uh, we could take the battle ring over there, since I would be able to drain energy from that. If I don't need the block, I, I don't need to use it, but uh, I could instead have more mana and dump the crystal gauntlets. But I would like to sell the crystal gauntlets, if I'm honest. All right, well, we'll roll with this. Where's the next shop? Uh, we still haven't found the shop, unfortunately. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let's move on. Hopefully, we'll find the shop soon. Right, the crabs don't need to worry too much about. In fact, we've got a good bit of uh, protection here. And as soon as I do that, we're golden, really. Uh, I may as well use the battle ring here. Get a little bit more incoming damage. Uh, we're going to take you out with this one hit. So I'm not going to do it to you yet. Instead, going to get a bit of damage there. You're now going to die. Uh, no, nothing else is needed. I'm not going to worry about my uh, my health there. I may use this to take you guys out, though. That is definitely an option. Uh, let's get a little bit more mana in the bank. There we are. Now definitely going to be okay. Uh, we're not going to use that one today. And you're already dead. So let's just wallop you with this. Womp. And if I could hit you with one more thing, then you would die. But sadly, no. So we're going to be back down to 37, but that's okay. There we go. And fight over. Very close to our level up. My lord, they want me to take a shield. My goodness. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. But uh, wow. Finally a shot. Let's get in there. Now I'm going to have to fight an elite battle when we leave. Okay, we could be a three-staff uh, magic user. That would be very interesting. The Peridot, adjacent weapons get plus one poison, but minus one damage. We've got the Flame Axe, deals four damage, adds four burn to an enemy. 
And that could actually fit in there if I really wanted it to. Peridot down here, that in there. Wow. Uh, it's expensive, though, at 35. I could afford it, but wow. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to the Crystal Gauntlets. In exchange for the axe. This is a bonkers build now. That did six burn damage a turn. Uh, the Peridot will cost me 20 to get. Uh, it's going to be a, a harder sell. I could instead move that down there. Move this into position here. And then I've got room to pick up uh, mana at some point. This will still boost all of these items if I need it. I would love the uh, a bit of extra armor. I would sorely... Sorely love a uh, spiked helmet right about now, but we don't have one. Our next fight is probably going to give us the level up. So I think this is a decent setup here, though I could move that up there. Like, I'm not going to be using the jack cleaver. It's just uh, not something that's necessary to me right now. But uh, three staffs is kind of tempting, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Being able to add three mana into the network. Mind you, that would take all of my energy to attack, and so I wouldn't have energy for things like the Burning Axe. So, uh, maybe not. But the Peridot is something I want to come back for as soon as I can. Right then, hello. Uh, getting you out early would be wise, but I can't get to you, sadly. I need a little bit of mana, so let's just top that up. And following that, let's go for a little bit more mana. Sure. Then we're going to apply this so that there's enough mana for the bird chant to, t to activate. And then we're going to wallop you with a whomping six burn. Or I could just go with this. Uh, no, let's go for the six burn. There we are. Right, ten burn in total in the first turn. My god, that's beautiful. That is going to be ruinously effective later on. The scaling is going to be wild. Right, we've got a bit of damage coming our way. Nothing too terrible to worry about, so I'm not going to go into uh, panic about that one just yet. But let's get some more damage along there. Ten burn already. They are getting a lot of buff due to their rage, which is an issue. Uh, thankfully, we do have the Vampiric Axe in reserve to help out. I'm going to want that once again. Recharge. Uh, sure. Okay, so next turn you're going to die, so using the Vampiric Axe then is going to be the play. There we go. And at this point, I want to charge this up fully. Ah, what I wanted to do, I should have paid attention to how much health he had, was then get all the mana in there, dump it all into this ring, and then attack with that. That was a massive misplay on my part, and I feel very dumb. Uh, oh well, it's done now. Alright, so uh, actually, take that one back. I want another tile up there so we can get some more helmets if we're able. Are we going to get any helmets offered? No. Uh, we do have a plasma sword though. Can be used one time each turn for free. Adjacent weapons above gets plus three damage. Hmm. Is that depending on where it's pointing? Like if I have it there, is it below? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Well, we've got a little bit more energy that we can add into the stack. Uh, we've got a uh, lucky star. We do now have a cleaver, which means for two energy, I could dole out uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, not the best, but I'll pick up the cleaver. Uh, we've got the toll blade over there. Not really what I'm looking for. We have got the plasma sword. I kind of want the plasma sword, if I'm perfectly honest. Is there a way I can position these items such that I can carry that with me? There is a possibility of this. But I need to rearrange my magic items quite specifically to make that happen. This can now go down there. I can shimmy across. Uh, there we go. Not the best positioning, I grant you, but I'm probably going to be get, just getting rid of the Plasma Blade, honestly. Uh, that being said, this doesn't require use, interestingly. So that is just now a much, much more powerful Plasma Blade. Honestly, getting that in position with the Vampiric Axe would be huge for me. Let me see what I can do. Okay. You know what? I might be sticking with this. This Plasma Sword I can use once a turn for free. 
deal seven damage. Granted, it's not amazing, but you know, it's seven damage for nothing. It's also got three upgrade spots, but it makes my vampiric axe at base damage levels do 13 damage. Now, I've not got the ring in the right position anymore to be able to make this really pop. There we go, that's a bit better. This loses out on some extra burn damage, which is a shame, but uh, I will be able to bump the damage of the vampiric axe a little bit more. That is going to be huge, as it may mean that I can... Now I've got three mana with us, I may be able to do a lot of healing at the end of a fight. Okay, that's nice. We're, we're leaving the cleaver behind. That That is a bit of a sadness, but it is what it is. Like Finishing that one. We've got some quite amazing weapons with us for a magic build, I must say. Uh, I will actually see if I can... Maybe, well, we just bought that, though. Uh... Maybe, maybe now is not the right time for a cleaver build. Uh, what I would love to pick up is the Paradot. And then I could have that in this spot. So instead of the Battle Ring. Because adding Poison would be grand. It would pull damage down a little bit. And I know that's kind of the opposite of what I'm aiming for. But still, I think it would be useful. Uh, Alright, well let's hit up a couple of fights. Namely down here so we can get the experience. Okay, you're going to try and steal my money. Not a big fan, got to be honest. So let's start off by setting fire to you, shall we? Uh, then we're going to get a little bit more shielding going. And do I want more shielding than that? I would say we don't really need it, no. So let's go ahead and dump one, two... We're going to hit you with the staff. That's going to add some more burn. There you are. You're going to die. This is still going to activate next turn. And I will then open up on the Kestrel Scout, I think. We'll do 14 damage. I'll take three poison. We'll add a little bit of burn. But I will do a huge wallop of healing, which is the main thing I was looking for there. Actually, I could have used a little bit more as well. That was a bit silly of me. Right. Uh, I've got to do 14 damage to change your intent, which I think I can easily do. So let's get uh, this on the road. And if I can make that happen, then I'm not going to have to worry at all about the incoming damage. Yeah, there we go. not going to have to worry at all about the uh, incoming damage at this point. So I'm just going to dump two points into this. Oh, I can only use it once a turn. Oh, so sad. Very, very sadness. I don't need the Vampiric Axe at this point, so I can just use the Flaming Axe instead. Stack up the, the uh, burn. You're going to die this turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm really liking this. But, oh, you ran away. Of course, I didn't pay attention to the fact that you were a coward. My fault there. We've got a Rose of Thorns. got another key. Nothing really we we're going to pick up here. It would have to be, like, better mana or something, or a really, really good weapon. I very much want to take that... that uh, cleaver home i don't think we're going to be uh selling that one we're only one tile away from being able to send it back home with parcel hello there right first and foremost let's get rid of you guys out the gate if we could let's top up the mana add a little bit more do a little bit more damage ah, not quite enough sadness but okay i'm gonna get a little bit of extra block and i Definitely don't need the Vampiric Axe right here, so that's fine. And turn. Okay, you did manage to get through right at the end, but you're not going to do that again, I don't think. So this should be fine. Uh, do we need... Yeah, we do need a little bit more. And at this point, uh, you're going to die. So I, instead I can focus the axe on you. Now, I don't know if rage triggers on just burning. Yes, it does. It does trigger on burning. Okay. Duly noted, then. Right. Let's get some mana in the bank. Let's add a bit of shielding. Do a good bit of damage there. You are going to hurt me a fair bit, though. Uh, I'm going to wait until you've done that before I do a big heal, though. And again, I'm going to try to aim for doing this as the last thing I do. We're already going to be doing a lot of damage here. If I use this on you, you will die. Uh, so, given that, I'm going to invest energy. This would be 8 damage. Uh, you know what? We can do that. And then just finish you off. Oh, it only get, gives me as much health as you had. Oh, well, that's a shame. Alright, duly noted. Uh, adjacent weapons below gets plus 3 damage. 
Well, that's a hard one to pass up, isn't it? Also got the scimitar. Deals six, uh, seven damage when an adjacent or diagonal item is destroyed. Plus one damage. That isn't a, a big one for me, but this one is. That one's more important to me than the uh, battle ring. Like, way more important to me than the battle ring. There we are. We want this vampiric blade to have absolutely staggering amounts of, of damage potential because I want to use it sparingly and it really wanted to have a lot of bang for buck. If we can get a better way of restoring our mana, I will shed one of the apprentice staffs because they're taking up a lot of room for what they're doing. And we've just lost one of our rings, which is a shame. I would like to get uh, another ring. I would honestly love to pick up the heart ring. I don't know what it is about the heart rings. I just like the heart rings, okay? I've had people say... <laughs> I saw a card. Find yourself someone who loves loves you as much as Avak loves the heart rings. And I, fair, okay. I know I I make some very tactically, strategically dubious decisions in order to preserve the heart rings that I have. But damn it, they're heart rings, though. Come on. All right, let's open up strong here. We don't need a big heal on this one. In fact, we don't need to get any kind of mana return on this one. So we could. Yeah, you're already dead. Uh, I suppose we'll just go without the finish you off. There you go. Uh, right, end turn. Ooh, what have we got there? Some extra damage for magic would be nice, but not with the amount of space that we've got. Maybe if I could get one of the rid of the, one of these wands, it would honestly be a, a good move. Uh, for now, though, we absolutely need to just pile the damage on because there's a lot of pain coming in my direction right now. Uh, let's use this as well. There we go. That has sorted the problem. And then we'll top up our mana as well. I do like the ones that change their, their attack stance based on damage output. Those are particularly nice, I feel. Uh, that was a wasted one, but we did charge our mana battery anyway. Uh, do we want to finish off with a nice big strong hit? Yes, because if you can end the fight with that attack you just get the healing you don't have to then suffer through the poison ah oh, there we are my first wand this is worth losing an apprentice staff over it hurts to lose it don't get me wrong but it's worth the loss it's the worth the loss enormously okay well that's going to give us uh, regen and potentially regen that can stack but I'm going to need a better source of mana um than just the one. With the two staffs, I could have kept this going and just topped it up every single turn to have you know ridiculous regen. And at that point, the vampiric staff is not necessary. In fact, other than the fact that this is a rare item and I could sell it for a decent amount, there is something to be said about that. Um, hmm. We could... We could keep the dual staffs because that would fund this and this every single turn. Get rid of the vampiric axe. I wouldn't actually get any extra room for doing that though, which is a bit of a downer, but uh, I could have the vampiric axe. Uh, I could get rid of the vampiric axe as a consequence. Have the wand shimmied up there maybe or something similar. Get the staff in here, get the citrine over one of the staffs. Which might be a nicer option. Because this is, doesn't actually output that much damage. It, get, it outputs a lot of burn, which is great. Hmm. But these have a lot of upgrade potential, whereas these really don't. There are other options for us to get mana recharge, so I'm going to actually wait on those, I think, ultimately. Uh, we are going to take... I can't fit the flowers, so we're just going to take the poison star. There we go. Finished choosing. Also, I want to get the uh, the uh, topaz, I think it was, to get the poison on weapons. We've got an anvil. Okay, let's have a look at what you can do. Add three damage to weapon. Add three slow to enemy to weapon. Add one haste to a shield. If only I had a shield. Add thir uh, for 30 gold, though, I can add rage to a weapon. Okay, now we are cooking with fire. Two rages. Three rages would be glorious. But if we could get Rage on this axe twice, then it's sta it's Scaling Rage. Hmm. If you had a way of removing poison, that would be even better. But we don't have that. 
Okay. Well, got some options here. Let me go back. We've got a lot of places that I can interact with in order to get rid of items. I'm not going to sell the poison star, but I think it is time for me to say goodbye. <laughs> so much healing, though, in one go. Regeneration is a, is a slow wind-up, whereas this is just straight-up healing. But I am going to say goodbye to it. We are making our play. Uh, I will buy this for 20. So I've got poison in the bag. Uh, but I now need to find other things to sell. I'm going to be keeping this. That is a given. I will be using that on the Apprentice Staff. Or possibly the Flame Axe. But I think the Apprentice Staff is going to... Well, actually, the Flame Axe is the one that I want to use every single turn. So let's see about doing that. There we go. And then that means the Apprentice Staff can exist over here. And we can have all of our magic kind of in one place. The Apprentice... The uh, Axe also gives me... A bit of a bonus in that I could have a certain special something right in there to activate this. I could have the Citrine there, activating the Flame Axe. I could have the Peridot here, so the Flame Axe does poison, as does the Apprentice Staff. And I can still have Fire on the Plasma Sword and the Apprentice Staff, because these are things I'm going to use every turn. So this is now becoming quite powerful, whereas this gives me just a lot of burn that maybe even swapping those around so this gives a lot of burn the scaling now on the on the burn is huge uh, that i quite like uh, making sure that i've got mana attached to that is important uh yes so far so good leave room for a, an extra hat up there in fact i can move this over here as well if i really want to uh well this one isn't guaranteed to be used every turn and now I don't have the the necessity to have like high damage on a specific item for the sake of creating the the healing effect. I can just put it on anything that I know I'm going to use every turn. Uh, what is use, this used in research? Oh, it's used to get the diamond. Hmm. I guess. And you, uh, I don't need you. So that is a, a falsehood. But uh, maybe getting rid of the citrine then very soon. But other than that, these are all something amazing for me. Right. That gives me 24. We've got a couple of other items. Around. Actually, can I sell anything more to you? Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. Uh, then I want to try and find myself a nice, chonky, saleable item to get some rage. None of these are chonky, saleable items, sadly. I will bring this along, though. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here. That's a curse chest. Not opening it. What have we got there? Uh, another wand. Nope, nothing really of any importance. I will swap these out, though. What about the question marks? I smell treasure nearby. That is not what I needed. Uh, let's make a deal. Okay, we can make a trade, you and I. Get a different item of the same rarity. Not important to me. No thanks. Sorry, but no. Okay, well, that's actually unfortunate, then. Um... I had liked the option of building this up. I'm going to keep the cleaver. All I need is six coins to get one layer of rage. What can I sell here? Value of three. Is there anything here that I could sell for? <laughs> I'm not selling you the jack cleaver. I could sell the broken ring, but that is my my uh, extra block, which would be very, very silly of me to do. I could sell the Peridot. I just bought it, though. That would be unfortunate. Oh, I can sell this, uh, but I... Yeah, you won't take any more items. So, unfortunately, we're just shy of the rage. That is deeply unsatisfying. But it is what it is. All right. Uh, I can add some slow to a weapon. I can add extra damage to a weapon. Um, usually things like slow or poison would be what I go for. But since I can't really do anything else, I may, might as well. We'll add a bit of slow to this plasma sword so that I can reduce the amount of block an enemy is able to set up. But the rest I won't won't do anything. That that wasn't the, the best setup really. I was really hoping that I'd get something nice out of those chests. But oh well. If, I, if it wasn't for the fact that I desperately want this jack cleaver to hand in... Wait, let me just double check something. Please tell me. 
Yeah, no, that's fine. We haven't handed that in yet. <laughs> there, was a, there was a dread moment where I was like, wait a second, have I derped? But I have not. It's fine. I know, Ray, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, incoming damage is nothing much to worry about. I could add some poison if I really wanted to. I could start stacking regen. Don't need to, but stacking the regen now is nice. Let's uh, start doing that. Let's bump up some damage and slow. We've got a bit of poison on you. Uh, let's get a load of fire as well. Do I want to go for even more fire? Well, actually, I could get uh, fire and poison. Um, no, let's just go purely for the fire for now. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but we've got regen that, such that I don't need to worry about it. Oh, I used up too much of my mana there, actually. That was silly of me. I should really do that only once a turn. Otherwise, it, the second use costs a lot more. Misplay there. All right, there we go. And now I can't use this. I've got no real blocking coming. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got uh, we've got the, the, the regen there for a reason. Uh, let's just stack up the burn. We're up to 27 burn at this point. You're just going to kill yourself. All right, there we go. Stack up a little bit more. Do I want some regen at this point? Yes, I do. All right, there we go. And it really is going to be just game over for you, this, this stage. Nice and easy. 40 burn. No one should be able to build that up in so few turns. It's beautiful. All right, all weapons get this effect. On use, plus one damages combat, but each turn loses two health. I would desperately need that one to work. Relic, minus three energy to the cost of reorganizing in combat. On reorganize, disabled for one turn. So this would allow me to pick up any item that was showing up for me. You cannot find rare or legendary items in combat rewards. Each turn adds one energy. No. No, I, uh, I very much like what I've got right now. This... This would straight up necessitate me using this Multi uh, a couple of times the first couple of turns would have to be that to get the the boost out of the egg timer because it's a flat loss of HP we're going to take it a flat loss versus scaling regen that's something that we can work with alright uh, do we want to check this first or do I just want I just want to send things to parcel there you go parcel let's get these out of here You've got this, you've got this. It gives me two spaces that I sorely, sorely need. We'll just leave them there for now. Uh, everything else is where it needs to be. Thank you very much, Parcel. Let's go and see what I'm going to be frustrated by. Ooh. Replaced by Ethereal Blade when used. A cleave. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, adjacent items are on use. Adjacent items are used. Adjacent items are disabled for the rest of combat. Hmm. We do have a shoe hat. It's better as a boot, though. Much better as a boot. So, to that end... Can I move things around a little bit over here? Um, I can. Actually, I need to shimmy you a bit closer still. There, there we go. That still all works correctly for me. And the boot can go here. That's going to give us a little bit more passive block. Taking the legendary staff, obviously, for sale would be amazing. But well, I guess I could do it. I've got enough spare spaces. So everything else is just a matter of organizing myself properly. Um, this needs to be in one of these three spaces, though. What I could do there... And I need a three slot. So it has to be one of these. Oh, of course I could put it there as well. That would remove the the effect of the Peridot on the Plasma Sword as well, though, which is a bit of a loss. Uh, nevertheless, it's what we're going to do. And we can just shimmy these around like so. I'm losing the dagger in order to get something that I can sell later on. Uh, on use, replaced by an ethereal blade, and then is destroyed. Let's have a look at the card. Do we know what an ethereal blade is going to look like? I don't know. I mean, I could just use it, just to find out. 
Uh, I would like max health right now. Thank you. Now, Deep Cave or to the Enchanted Swamp. Of course, we're going to the Enchanted Swamp. Let's get down there and see what luck has in store for us. Gotta get down here to get the experience. Then there's a shop fairly easy to get to. So let's head straight for the experience first. Hello, everyone. Uh, I would like to start stacking that right away. Uh, auto shield when damage is received. That's fine. Let's get rid of the newts. Because they can actually be kind of nasty. We are going to take a bit of damage, but I'm not too concerned about the uh, output of that. We're going to be able to stack burn crazy, crazy fast here. The only big problem is that we're not doing anything special now with the plasma sword, other than adding a little bit of slow. But that's alright for now. Right, you're dead on your turn. Uh, once again, let's top up the mana, use the regen. It's looking good. And let's just start stacking the rest of the damage over here. There we are. Next turn, you will die. So you'll apply your spikes, die. You'll apply your spikes, probably die. So the rest of our focus can now be on you. And my passive block is going to be enough to deal with that. Yeah. So that actually worked out okay for us. Let's top this up, get a little bit more regen. So we are re regening faster than the egg timer is doing damage to us right now, which is the main thing that we were looking for. And you're just going to die on this turn, so that's okay. The only problem with regen is you don't get it the, as the last uh, on the last turn, which does suck. I'm not going to lie. Uh, right, we've got a couple of spaces here, so let's start expanding things out a bit. There we are. Right, what have we got? We've got a little bit of mana we don't want to use. We've got the grapple now. I uh, can pull the backmost enemy up front. That's not going to be useful for me, though. On use, that's 10 poison to all enemies and 3 poison to self. I could live with that. Luck ring? Never reason not to take it, really. Uh, oh, and the wooden blade over here as well. Uh, view research. I need a wooden sword and a wooden blade to make a wooden knife. Really? There is a shield to the right, plus two damage. On use, it's a single tile, one energy use item that does five damage, or seven if I've got a shield, which usually I do. Damn it, that is actually really worth having. <laughs> but I'm so shy on room. <laughs> it's annoying. Um, <laughs> it's deeply frustrating, actually. Uh, I can put that over there so that this will drain the mana from it, or this will. Okay, I think that's going to be a bit better. We've now got the Flame Axe with its high burn, the Staff with a bit of burn, the Staff and the Plasma Sword each having a bit of poison on them as well. And I think that's just a better way of spreading out the damage, because I do generally want to use all three weapons each turn. So uh, having having the uh, effects spread out a little bit makes... Uh, it doesn't really change what I'm going to be doing. Like, I'm still going to apply the effects, but uh, I feel that instead of just having them all on a single weapon, having the effects spread out so that they're always affecting two, it's going to double the amount of effect that I can apply. Uh, let's, I guess, pick this up because I can. No other re no reason not to, really. Uh, let's go grab the experience before it runs out. There we go. And now I have really no more room. What have we got over here? I had a vision that would meet you. I need to make some room. But we will be talking to you again. Uh, we're facing against the queen there. And over here we've got a forge. What have we got? Add haste to a structure. Don't have one. Energy to clothing. Don't have any. Conductive to armor. Could be on the hat. To burn to a weapon. Would be nice. And for 50 gold, 15 gold, I can afford it. But uh, those those upgrades aren't the best, I'm not going to lie. But let's go and see what I can sell and what I can buy for that. Oh, the charging mana stone. Each turn refills mana. Yes. Absolutely 1,000% yes. We need it. It costs 20. I can definitely sell things to achieve this goal, namely the legendary staff, which I've been holding on to for that reason. There we go. Let's move you around. At this point, I'm quite hopeful. Yeah, no, that, every turn that's going to recharge his mana, so this is just going to draw mana off that every turn. That's perfect. They're, they're a perfect compa companion item. 
which means that each turn now I can afford to use my first wand guaranteed and occasionally I can use this I've got like two mana in the bank that is that is great absolutely marvelous is there anything else here I would love to get I mean I would love to get this uh, but we are not going to be able to sad to say uh, I could pick up the battle ring no 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 reason to uh, it wouldn't help me out maybe if I had the battle ring up there I could bump the apprentice staff a little bit but again really no reason uh, the main thing is to be able to keep the the wand active and just gaining charge every single turn so that this eventually we're going to vastly outperform the egg timer but while all my weapons are getting stronger as we go that's a good bit of scaling there i like it right let's get into a fight or two uh, yeah we've got some room for items so me as well right need to hurt you enough to change your mind on what you're about to do so that's easily done womp uh you are well, honestly, we don't really need to, to buff here, but uh, I could if I desperately wanted to. I kind of need to use this, though. Why is it not drawing... Will it recharge the whole network, or...? Perhaps I don't understand this properly. I don't know. Okay, we'll see. But it feels like I should be able to just use up some more mana, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I could afford to uh, protect myself once again if I really, really wanted to. But let's just continue adding loads of damage to you. There you go, you're going to die this turn, and then we can focus on the Newt. Now, the Newt is going to use its uh, spike attacks in a second. Let's do a little bit more damage to you. There we are, just get you out of this fight for now. Top things up use the wand there we go and now you can start drawing from the charging mana stone there we are everything we need we're up to three regen now so as long as we don't take additional damage we should be good and i can just apply a bunch of burn you're going to die on your own there's nothing you can do now that will stop yourself from dying because you can't heal i can just take my time just managing your potential damage output and just uh, continuing to add a little bit more mana to myself oh that needs to charge at the end of the turn ah so there will be occasional turns where i can't use the the wand there well, that's a bit of a shame all right we are going to take a bit of damage this turn then as much as i said we weren't so we are going to uh, lose out a little bit Oh, no, you're still alive. Fantabulous. Oh, uh, well, then I don't need to worry about protection. Let's just uh, top that up, and I'm not going to do anything this time. We're just going to sit still. You're going to die. I guess I'm not going to get the regen anyway, but... All right, get items. Uh, we've got another bird chant. Don't want one of those. They're actually kind of hard to work with. Uh, I will take a warm drink, though, definitely. We've got the Tilted Sword. Plus one damage this combat each turn. I mean, that is nice to have an auto-stacking sword. Uh, auto scaling rather but trying to position it would be rough yeah I can't easily find a place where I would want to position this I guess I could move all my weapons down but then the boot would have to move it is a rare item so if nothing else I could sell it and it would be worth taking for that alone so let me just move a couple of odds and sods around a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to say goodbye to the warm drink. It makes me sad because I do need the healing, but uh, this will allow me to sell this on. Finish choosing, and we can head straight back to the shop and immediately remove it. There we go. Uh, that's going to give us a little bit of extra uh, money to play with. Up to 33 now. Uh, we could go and check this chest of valuables. See what we got in there. It is a cursed chest. Of course it's a cursed chest. Why would it ever be anything other than that? I would like a mana stone. I could try and upgrade. Sure, we'll try and upgrade you. Stares deeply into the mana stone. I can do it, he yells. I can find a way. The mana stone shrieks for a moment and then expands beneath his gaze. Marvelous. My vision came true. How absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for the help. Okay, so burn to a weapon. We could add 
two stacks of that, actually. Um, and I see no reason not to. We can get even more burn on this. I could just get passive burn to this one. Uh, add a bit of burn over here as well. Definitely worth it. And sure, I'm going to go ahead and add some more. But we, we are going into a very burn-happy build right now, and I'm kind of okay with that. As I said many times in my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough, fire is great. It is a brilliant weapon, because not only does it damage your opponents, it makes them panic. Because very few people are able to remain calm under the pressure of literally being on fire. Uh, right, we need to take the mage out here. Geek the mage. It's as true as it is in Shadowrun as it is here. Let's uh, top up my mana, though. There we go. And then apply a little bit of extra. Ouch. And then the rest of this over onto you. There you are. You're going to die no matter what happens. So now I can focus on the thief. I feel I could get a little bit of extra regen right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's get a little bit of extra regen right now. I feel that's going to be necessary for us. We are in we are in hurt. It hurts. Uh, let's top that up. We're going to use this again. Get us back up to five. Uh, you've got 17 burn damage incoming. You've got a bit of spikes, which uh, I'm not a big fan of, but it is what it is. Uh, am I going to be able to take you out in time? Yes, I am. But I am going to take some pain because of it. I'm just going to have to soak it up. There we go. Now we're back to you. Now the thing with you is you have got a lot of spike damage incoming, uh, which I'm not a great fan of. So I'm just going to focus on getting burn on you and i can do the most of that with the flame x that being said i can also get a little bit of poison as well keep that poison ticking over um i need to use this oh sorry i've already used that my bad um well i'm not taking much damage this turn if any at all actually so uh let's add a bit of slow so you get less block because that will directly impact the burn and then just top up the burn Okay, that'll do. Really? Damn it, I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, health ring would be grand. The breastplate would be ultra amazing. And, of course, the mana stone. So that I can use my wand quite aggressively. Uh, we've got the tasty fly. Hmm. Is there anything I really want to use the tasty fly for at this point, though? Good question. What would I have to sacrifice to make you a part of this build? Probably have to say goodbye to the Wooden Blade and one of my Mana Stones. Sad, but it is something we can do. Um, need the Egg Timer down there. And if we put that in there, this now gets a bit of a buff as well. This gets a little bit of a buff. This isn't doing a lot for us right now, but it is clothing, and I can add conductive to this. So I could have magic pass through it. It's a shame to lose that that uh, mana stone, but it, it is what it is, really. Uh, I don't have enough to be able to get that structure. Oh, my, my goodness. Brick, oh, brick path. Okay, that's not really that important to me. But... Um, we could get some haste on the structure, but unless we've got two structures, it's not going to help us. All right, passing up the tasty fly. I know, I know. It sucks, but um, getting the bronze brass plate, I think, is more important to me. All right, do we even have enough money, though? <laughs> How much was it? 40 energy to clothing. So we absolutely didn't, but conductive to armor, we can. So let's get conductive on that armor. This way, I've got some more flexibility in where I place it whilst maintaining the magic flow. All right, into the next fight. And a good amount of materials building up over there. Liking it. Straight into another shop. Let's see what you've got before I do anything else. You've got a passive string. Each turn plus one energy when a weapon is used, destroyed. No. Uh, the Guardian Ring. When a diagonal shield is used, adds one block. Not what we need. We've got the Engine one, though. Each turn, if connected to one mana, removes one mana and deals three damage to all enemies. Hmm. I've got a lot of drains on mana and only one source of it, which isn't really good enough. If we had a book, 
that could recharge a good wallop of mana in exchange for energy, then this would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. But we just don't. Yeah, sad, but it is the way it is. All right, let's get into some fights. See what awful choices they're going to make me have to pick. All right, you're going to keep using Sticky Honey, and I really dislike that. I really would prefer to just have to deal with you. Let's get some mana in the wand. Let's start applying a goodly bit of damage. You're dead. And now let's try and get you out of the running as quickly as I can. There we go. Right. Create a puff of smoke in row uh, spaces in this row. When your turn ends, destroyed. On use, destroyed. And when destroyed, whoomp. It will take out my plasma sword and it will take out that, but that's not the worst. I would actually be okay with losing. We're going to have to see what we can do. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Right. Need the regen. Need to restore the regen. Awful lot of damage incoming. So let's use some mana. Uh, twice. There we go. That's a lot better. Uh, apply more damage to you. Try and take you out. You've got a good bit of damage coming where you're, you're now going to die. Uh, I might as well finish you off. That's no problem. And we are going to tank all of the incoming damage. But this is now going to be the issue. When your turn ends, destroyed. On destroyed, destroys all adjacent to diagonal hazards. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. We're not going to have the uh, the damage scaling here, but that's okay. So first we want to use this, then we want to recharge. A lot of damage coming our way, and there's really not a lot we can do about it. Uh, actually, never mind, you're going to die. That's fine. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the weak gen. Alright, really? Just a junky mana stone? Wow. The Beasting Blade. Can be used one time each turn. On use, deals 10 damage when... An item in this column is used. This item is refreshed and can be used again. A nice item, but... The Philosopher's Stone can be used one time. When this destroys an item, adds one energy. On use, adjacent to diagonal consumables are destroyed. Don't have consumables to destroy, really. It's a legendary item, though, so it would potentially be useful to sell. But... Really, I don't have the room for that. Can't make that happen. What I desperately need is uh, a level up. Alright, we're just going to have to pass up on that. that. That sucks to pass up. I guess I could get rid of the Paradox for it. Hmm. No, it's only a little bit of cash and really that shouldn't be dictating the build for me. Uh, let's get down here. Get into another fight. Right now we're just looking for... for uh, experience really all right that's going to cover the initial loss to the egg got a lot of damage coming our way though uh, i'm going to need to use this twice to mitigate a lot of that incoming damage all of it in fact all right let's get rid of you if i can there we go now we're going to start focusing on you you're going to be a problem with your hexes but hopefully it's not going to become too much of a problem for me Right, you're going to bring in two poison, something I very desperately don't want to allow to happen. Right, you're going down. Now I need to focus on you before you get that uh, smoke cloud out. I'm not going to stop it, but I can at least do some damage to you beforehand. Pop it down here. Actually, I'm going to pop it on the egg timer this time. Right, really, really don't want you to be around anymore. Unsurprisingly. Let's get another build-up of recharge. There we go. Oh, there's not a lot we're going to be able to do to this. This is going to... Oh, wow, it didn't disable you for very long, did it? Uh, popping it up there wouldn't be terrible. I can't place it on the smoke. Wee. How vexing. All right, we'll pop it up there then. Thankfully, that allows me to keep the wand... Right, top up mana. That means that is currently shut down, so I don't need to worry about it for now. 
Uh, incoming 11 damage, but that's not something I really need to worry about too much. And you're going to die this turn. Really? That's used for something? It says it's used for something. Oh well. Right, there we go. We are getting closer and closer to what I need. Wow, okay, we just got a lot of things. Can be used one time each turn. Items in this row are refreshed. Would be useful for a certain type of build. Uh, we've got the Teddy Bear Sword. Uh, we've got a left gauntlet. Heavy. It would replace the shoe hat. So the shoe hat would get a little bit less uh, oomph. But we'd get a lot of block out of this. And of course we've got the Queen Cleaver. Which I straight up need to take with me. So first and foremost let's move these around. What am I saying goodbye to in order... Oh, wait a minute. Am I going to have to say goodbye to the Lucky Ring? I like the Lucky Ring. That, oh, well. Goodbye, Lucky Ring. Damn it. But we want to grab the Queen Cleaver. Then we, all we need is the King Cleaver, and we've got the Ace Cleaver crafting materials together. Oh, Lord. All right, well, first and foremost... Oh. Should have really been paying attention to that path, really, shouldn't I? All right, we might die here, frankly. This is going to be a tough battle for us. Still, we are generating huge amounts of passive block, which is grand. Uh, I only need to top up my block a little bit for the first couple of turns. I want you out of the running so that you're not able to help out here. This is going to kill you next turn. So that healing was largely wasted. Okay. Now, not looking great. Let's get some more mana in the system. I now need to take out... I need to do... How much damage to you? 50 damage to sh shut you down. Not going to be able to do that. I will be able to take one of you out, though. I already used that? Yes, I did. Damn it. Alright, you're not dead yet. You will die now. So I'm going to take five damage still. Well, um, actually a little bit less, but still. Not great. I'll regen through some of my uh, egg timer there, but still not great. Right, once you're removed... Uh, at this point, I'm... I'm good for the damage incoming. So all I need to do is just remove you. And then we're going to start the slow process of dealing with you. It's going to take me a little while to break you, but uh, for now, I'm going to start regenerating. This is going to... this <laughs> As it happens, this ends up being a really good fight for me. Purely because it's going to be a long fight, and that's going to allow me to get my regen up to a point where it uh, is going to massively overheal me. And this is perfect. This is this is what where the wand starts to uh, come into its own. So boss fight level fights are really where it's at. And uh, now you're going to die on your. T well, actually, no, you won't. I need to remove your block completely. There we go. And you will now be dead there. That's fine. We'll just let you perish to that. Because if you've gotten the block off, then you would have been able to uh, weather a little bit more of it. I mean, I could just let it happen, honestly, rather than pushing this. Uh, you're not regenerating much. So, yeah, sure. We're going to play tactically. It's not the most fun way to play, but it is the best way to survive. Now we're going to focus on each new opponent individually. There we are, just take them out. Let the uh, fire burn you. We're now regenerating six hit points a turn if we account for the loss of two to the egg timer. I'm fine with just letting the turn pass. You're going to die from the burn at this stage, so it really doesn't matter to me. Because <laughs> you're going to die in two turns, no matter what I do. Uh, but it, we have fully healed, effectively. There we go. And that is the advantage to the uh, 
kind of war of attrition. As long as we can keep scaling our healing, we will win that fight. There we go. Almost full health and a level up to boot. We have been greatly, greatly rewarded. Uh, right, I'm actually going to build this out massively for the single reason of adding this right across there. There we are. This can go back in place. Okay, we are now getting huge amounts of uh, of uh, block. That is going to be useful. The battle ring could go in. The rough whetstone. I don't see a point in using the rough whetstone, honestly. Uh, so at this point, I want the most valuable item. I mean, the chip sword isn't terrible. Uh, though I can't really fit it into the, the current setup now. So uh, I guess it's the toy sword is going to come with us. Yeah. And then we'll sell that off. All right. Not the best fight by far, but not a terrible one either. Grab you. We'll grab the health. I'm going to let them chase me all the way back. I actually should have probably left that. Ooh, it is my gift and my obligation. His hand glows with a power incredible and cursed. I can take your items to the next level, he says, but the price is great. Add three damage and heavy to a weapon. Add four damage to a weapon. If it is adjacent or diagonal to armor or a shield, it is disabled. Add one haste to a ring. If there are any items in a diagonal line, it is disabled. Ooh, that is a nasty one. Um, add three block to a shield. It cannot be touching the backpack's edge. One haste isn't enough to make that worthwhile. Four damage to a weapon does kind of work. Uh, since I could add four damage over here. As for the ring, I guess I could make that happen. And so if I put the ring over there. And then pop the hat here. It still connects. Now, what, what I'm interested here is if this is on use. Because if it is on use, then I can scale haste. His hammer swings into the cursed hand. You're filling. You're filled with a new purpose, but also a new challenge. Uh, right, so. Two, oh no. Um. I had thought that that might be a little bit further out. Of course, it's only highlighting now that these are there. Damn. Okay, that is going to be a bit more of a challenge then. Uh. I'm going to need another level up to make that work. Poop. I thought that that would be the trick there. I put it up there initially to line it up, but I... And, uh, uh, not lined it up correctly. My bad. Alright. Well, this is the only thing that is now touching. I get... It is possible I might be able to do it. It's going to be an awkward fit now though because i'm gonna have to basically shunt that across to the side uh if there is an item along a diagonal line which there isn't i will need some mana to touch this so i'm gonna have to move everything around in order to make this work but i think it is possible to give me a few moments okay far from ideal but it does work now, the best way of fixing this for myself, I think, would be to rise a column over on here or expand this out by one more. If I can expand this out by one more, it works. But, and I only have to lose one thing. But if I can expand it out, if I can't do that, I can rise a column over here. Mind you, we're quite far away from it. But if I could do that and have it, say, somewhere in the middle here, there's fewer blocks that I need to worry about. That being said, I could do the same over here, but I'd have to lose four blocks if I did that. Three, four, yeah. Over on this side, I lose four no matter what I do, with. whereas right now I'm only losing three. Um, it is, it would be better if I could place it here, and then I'd only lose two, but I don't have conductive on this. I would need conductive on on armor to be able to put that on this and then i could make that work but right now everything is connected i'm gonna have to say goodbye to the teddy bear sword and to a large mana stone in order to keep this in position and the worst part about this is the for scienting didn't work out my way it's each turn adds one haste to self very sad about that 
But oh well, it's uh, it's the the price for playing with forces that I can scarcely comprehend. Uh, oh well. Uh, on the plus side, it does mean that I get that per turn, regardless of what I do. Oh, actually no. On use as well as each turn. My my. Oh, and I accidentally took that completely out of my uh, connection there. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, uh, it doesn't seem to be giving me haste. Hmm. That's a bit of a pain. I can? No, it doesn't seem to be adding more haste. Oh, that's a shame. Also, yeah, I, ne I needed that somewhere else. That was that was kind of a massive oversight, but oh well. Uh, and that's not pointing at anything. I've I've made mistakes, but if we get out of this fight, uh, yay! <laughs> that's all I have to say. At least we're doing this one without much loss of uh, of health, As, because we've got full health. Rather, we might still lose quite a lot. But if I just focus on stacking this right now, then we should be fine. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of lot of passive block as a consequence. I'm just going to put all my energy into this. Uh, that that this has gone poorly because I was caught off guard and then so focused on trying to fix my uh, my fumble. There we go. Got a decent chunk of experience points at least. Right. Okay. I need this. There is what I need. Um, and that there. There we go. That works now. Uh, that's all I needed to change. Uh, the worst part is that I I recognized that earlier and then I changed it around again to try and make a better position and then I forgot to to recheck always double check your work don't be like me another bronze brass plate don't need it um the one advantage to having this over there though is that we're now buffing both of these but uh yeah trying to keep the oak queen cleaver and now having to sacrifice three slots is painful painful but it is the burden that we now find ourselves toiling under. All right, let's get some regen on the go. And oh, I still didn't move this. That one is genuinely a problem, actually. wonder how I could move that around. I definitely can do it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I, c I can already see how I need to change that one. My bad, I didn't uh, fix the problem when I had the chance. There we go. I should have just been using that on the last fight too, because it's a free item. I was, I was perplexed, flummoxed. One could say, I am quite sad that on use adds five block. Oh wait, it's saying adds five block to the base four. I was quite flummoxed. It seems. And the reason why it's five and not in and not four is because of the haste one. Look, we're just going to pretend that the whole last like five minutes didn't happen. Please and thank you, a kindness. Ah, uh, right. Okay, let's uh, continue the fight then. We've got a. It's not nearly going to be enough to uh, get through. That is one of the nice advantages to to this right now. Uh, I could disable that one. This would probably disable the ring though. So let's pop it there. Actually, I should put them together because then it would cost me less to get rid of them. Yeah, that has been disabled. Does that turn it back on? Yes, it does. Good. I'm going to leave that one where it is, though. Uh, let's. You're dying. That's fine. Now I need to get through you. So one, two, three, and four. The fact that you're applying spikes everywhere else is kind of vexing, but. This isn't going to be a problem still, because I can still use them. You're dead, and now I can just start applying my damage to you instead. I'll let them grow one more level. Now I absolutely do need to get rid of them. There we go. Jobs are good. Enough. Which just goes to show I don't actually need this. Got the Needler, deal seven damage, adds two poison to the energy, uh, the enemy, minus one damage this turn. The Cleansing Wand, removes 100% status effects on an enemy. Got a Water Flask, four uses, adds some energy. None of these really stand out as things I need. 
There we go. That's all I needed to do. Uh, again, I, all these things, I'd already seen how to do them, and I'd gone through several different iterations, but then finally settled on a on a different one and then forgot to double-check that all of the things that I'd already checked off the, the list were still checked off. Uh, this is what it's like doing software development for me as well. The amount of times I break something in trying to fix another thing. Ah, uh, my goodness. Lucky no one's employing me, otherwise they would not feel they got their money's worth. Right, I need you to be gone. You are kind of a problem, but you're not a problem that my current defenses can't deal with. So let's just stack up enough on you and then start focusing my attention there. Yep, a little bit more. And now start stacking up the remaining damage there. The burn is gonna deal with both of you. Well, actually deal with you specifically. And we get a little top up. Don't really need to do this anymore, but we might as well. Right, a little bit of mana, uh, mana stone, not necessary. The dice might be useful, but I wouldn't have anywhere to put it, which is the problem. Where are we going next? We've got a smith just up above. Hmm. Is there anything here that I could sell for a decent chunk of change? Not really. Alright, moving on. Let's find out what you've got. If there's some sort of haste, it would be amazing. Regen to a ring. Burn to a weapon. Three damage to a weapon. Energy to clothing. Could stick that on there. A little bit more power to use. Oh, I can't upgrade it further. Damn it. Of course, because I added conductive. Uh, we could add... No, we can't add regen to that ring either. Okay, well, that's a bit of a shame because that would allow me to, to stack things a lot more aggressively. If I had something that was preserving my level of regen... Uh, you know what? We may as well try. Can't hold my fate or my doom. I chose not to, apparently, and uh, I'm now being punished for that, uh, that swift choice. Fair enough. All right, let's get you out of play... Not quite there, but you'll die next turn. But you will give everyone some spikes first, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, now I need to focus on you. Yep. And then I can turn my attention this away. Though the constant stacking spikes is genuinely quite annoying. But we've found our rhythm at this point, and that's with three uh, spaces not being used. Bless sword. Ooh. Might honestly be better than this. I'd only... I would take out a, a decent bit of damage and also the slow and burn from my... Uh, from my attack lineup, because I won't be able to use this every turn. If nothing else, it is rare. So I can just take this and sell. Finished. Uh, let's go grab the coins. Go see what this is going to be. It is a regular chest. I may come back to it then. I could add burn to this weapon. I could add quite a lot of burn to this weapon. So on the turns where I did want to use it. It wouldn't be a massive loss in damage output. In fact, I could make that as capable of inflicting burn as the axe. The issue here is that, realistically, I want this to be a killer. Rather, ooh, I should have gone for three burn on it. Uh, sorry, uh, three stacks of damage so that it could take out enemies nice and fast. Rather than going for the stacking um, burn. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the blessings. And it's on kill, it's not on, uh, on, uh, non-summon kill, which is a big one. Uh, we don't have any diagonal shields. I do have a heart ring, but I would have to lose something important for it. I 
I would very much like it. Again, find you someone who loves you as much as I apparently love heart rings. Because in every run that I have the opportunity to get one, I will. There we go. Right, our regen is now stacking far more aggressively. That is going to be great. Uh, did I check that chest at all? I may not have. No, I did not. What do we got? Blast potion, some molds and swords, and nothing of particular worth to me. So I'm not going to bother trying to sell it. I mean, I could just to eke out every little last bit of gold on a level, but I don't see the reason to. Uh, the machete. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing here of any grand value to me. All right, we're heading off. The Enchanted Swamp Finale. Let's see what we can see. Hello. Now, you are going to summon minions, so this is going to be a good place for the Blessed Sword. Uh, it increases its direct value to me down here. Uh, there's no particular reason to use these, one over the other. Uh, well, actually, this one, I guess, simply because it does more damage and does the same amount of uh, burn. So, sure, we'll just invest all of that. Right, would like to get some more healing. Uh, who are we going to go for? We're going to go for you, since you've got the lowest health. One... You'll be very close to death. Oh, we're going to have two dodge to everyone. Ugh. Greatly disapprove. All right, we're refocusing our efforts on you. It's fine. Get some more regen. Uh, as you can see, the regen is now stacking much better. Now, everyone's got a little bit of dodge, which I'm not a great fan of. Um, but I can still apply the burn, which is the important one. Go. I'll be able to take you out next turn. You're going to summon more things? How many more people are you bringing into this fight? How many more people can you bring into this fight? Okay, you're going to apply more dodge. Uh, this is going to kill and get me a blessing. Uh, Sacred Sword. Deals four damage and three weak. Twice. I'll place it here. Alright. Firstly, want to stack my regen. Then I want to hit you with weak. All enemies. Well, wow. okay, that's different. Oh no, sorry, it's it's uh, the weakness is is on me. Never mind. Mm, let's hit everyone. I can't do it anymore. Sadness. Never mind. It's temporary for the whole. Oh, it's just one combat ends. Oh, that's fine then. Right, I. Can possibly get through this. So one to remove all the blocks, and because it hits twice, then another blessing. Champery weapon two spaces away get plus three damage. Oh wait, is that? Uh, it probably is. Uh, popping it here wouldn't be terrible. Sure, because that affects all of these. But yeah, that being there is actually a problem. Uh, I didn't want to disable anything, you see. I could have put it there and, and achieved the same effect. Sad I didn't notice it, though. Uh, right, let's continue to build up my regen. And apply... Uh, no, we don't actually have any more to apply. Uh, okay, let's apply regen. Now, who can I hit... Uh, there's no one I can easily hit for enough damage here. Let's hit everyone in that case. And then follow up with a attack. You are invincible. On that, take damage, destroy. Sure, I'll leave it there. Since that's already disabled, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, that'll take two. I don't need it. We are already regenning enormously. Honestly, we're probably just going to win here purely from the, the regen stacking. Uh, let's continue to get that damage to everyone. 
And take you out with the Blast Blade. Uh, temporary. On use, adds one dodge, adds two rage to self, and adds two haste to self. If that was still capable of operating, that would be an ama this would have been amazing because uh, it would have meant that my haste was then preserved at three at all times, which genuinely would have been quite good. Sad that that didn't end up being the case. Oh, I used that wrong. I should have used that uh, later. And... The 17 damage on that blade at this point because this as a weapon is still getting uh, buffs from the egg timer you're not going to do anything this round frankly we are just going to win this from uh, the fire just doing its thing may as well top that off there we go we got the uh, meter for each row below, plus three block. And you're running away anyway, so it doesn't matter. There you go. Done. We win. Now. Ah. No pocket. Sad times. Oh, well. We got the charging mana stone. We will, uh... I mean, that's unlocked. I, I don't know why it thought it wasn't already unlocked, frankly. But we've also got the spark, and that's what we came for. Another hour and a half run, my lord. And I was expecting this one to be nice and fast. Right, let's go and top this off. Hello, great job bringing so much back. The people of Ordania, thank you. Research, I would like to add this one in. There you go. And promptly, hope that helped. It did, it did. Let's go ahead and top th some things off. We need to find with the blacksmith who needs the... Cleavers, there we go. Two cleavers off the list. Now we just need to find the King Cleaver and we've got the Ace Cleaver in the bag. Really happy with getting that done, but we do need to uh, work a little bit harder now to unlock the rest of these items. I do need a cursed item still, so I should probably stop avoiding them as, I, as aggressively as I do. I uh, don't need those right now. Let's see if there's anything else I do need though. That was a magic run, and and yet I don't feel that we actually used much magic. Oddly. But there we go. We've now got the diamond. So that can start showing up in future runs. And... I mean, I could top these off if I really wanted. I don't see a great need to, though. All right. Well, with that done then, we're going to go and sell stuff, but I'm going to let things start to accrue for a little bit because I want to do a bunch of building in the future. I'm going to leave these there, I guess, because they might be used for things. I guess that's what they might uh, be holding on to those for. But either way, that is going to be it for today's episode. Now, for the next episode, I am happy since we're going looking for sparks to take out any of our peeps. And so... To that end, I would ask, which character would you like to see in the next run? Crate, our automated genius. Crate is great, after all. Tote, Satchel, or Purse? Let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next episode. But until then, as always, from myself and all of the people of Orderia, do take care, everyone. <laughs>